All right, let's see what the last sign is. Pisces. Pisces, last sign of the zodiac, I believe. Last sign for this reading. Beautiful, beautiful Pisces. All right, so Pisces, this reading is for the full moon in Gemini at 27 degrees. That is going to um, occur December 18th or 19th, just depending upon where you're at in the world. We are going to be looking at your headspace, heart space, as well as the physical realm. So Pisces, Pisces for this full moon, what, how is Pisces showing up in the headspace for this full moon? Whoa, oh, there you go. And the heart space for this full moon. And in the physical. That was too many cards. One card, please. In the physical. Thank you. I see such beautiful artistry in these cards right now. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to show these all because I, that came out of nowhere out of my mouth. And then I looked at them and facts. Look at all of the artistry in here. And Pisces, this is this is you all over. So look at how beautiful it's like got this super Cirque de Soleil kind of vibe to it um, for each of these cards. And there's just silks and and the water and this dancing and this like celebration. And I mean, overall, I just like I you're the last card draining energy a little bit. And now I am full-blown excited um this could be for some pisces if that if this imagery is resonating with you maybe a great time to watch a documentary or if you are in a place where you can and it's safe for you to attend a show like a Cirque du Soleil show um anything with artistry and imagery something that is delightful to the senses um, for Pisces, if that is resonating with you, just got goosebumps. Um, I would highly encourage that during this time, even if it's like um, a photography exhibit or the museum or something of that nature, just something that allows you to see art and um, and get into this artistic mode because it's really probably going to serve you as we get into this reading. So. Oh, Pisces showing up in its own reading. Perfect. All right. So in your headspace, Pisces, you have temperance. So this, and it's clarified by the hangman, the card of Pisces. Um, so temperance, as we get into this full moon, um, this is the end of the Sagittarius Gemini nodal accesses we are going to shift and move into scorpio and taurus and this has been about an 18 month journey that we've been on and this is that finality point this is the end of that and what this moon specifically is looking at especially in the sign of gemini pisces is you had all of these lessons you learned which accumulated into the sagittarius solar eclipse um, that was at the beginning of the month. And there was some sort of intention, some sort of something was set during that month, um, something that you set for your long term vision and future. And now this moon is coming in to illuminate that, illuminate what you set and make it bigger, expand it more give you more ideas around it, give you better structure around it, give you more information. Um, and just really like it starts off here and this moon is just gonna make it grow and grow and grow and grow. Because again, when we set intentions, it's always this or something better. So we've set our intention out into the world and this is the universe giving us back. All right, well, here's some other things to think about. So with temperance in the headspace, as all of that is coming in for you, Pisces, um, it's really important to stay balanced. It's really important to stay centered, to stay aligned. You see here, like, again, here is this um, eclipse point, right? 
So this is, there may be something that may be started during that eclipse that you're really tuned into right now. Like it is loud and effing clear for you. If that's the case, stay there. You are not wrong. Honor yourself. Honor, honor the messages that are coming in from spirit. Honor where you are at. Honor your space. And then just make sure that you stay in this alignment. Because as all of this comes in, and not all ideas are good ideas, not all things need to come forward with you. But the universe is going to give you enough of it to have you be able to discern and use all of these skills that we've um, been honing in on over the last 18 months. How am I going? How do I see Sagittarius and how do I see my long term vision? How do I see and put together that puzzle? And so it's finding this balance, this this synchronicity, this movement and honing in on what you know is true, what you honor within yourself. You are so connected, Pisces, to the outer realms that your answers and when you have to do this discernment, that may be a place to connect to. And, and maybe it's not going to come from, um, you know, it's not going to come from talking with somebody. It's going to come from going within. It's going to come from your intuition. It's going to come from the messages that you get that you are so strong and prominent in with the outer realms, with spirit guides, whatever you prescribe to could come from meditation. It's going to come, quite frankly, with all, again, going back to all of these artistic cards, it could come from art. It could come from you sitting down and creating something. It could come from you enjoying and exploring art and other people's creative processes and how you can get insight and ideas into your own creative process based on that. So there's a lot that you can do here. It's just about remaining in alignment with what you know is right for you. In your heart space, you have the three of cups. Celebration abound. Threes are foundations. Threes are foundations in the spirit realm for me. That's how I interpret the numerology of three. And it's this in the heart space. It's this. Like, I just get this feeling of security. There is, Pisces, there's this, I'm getting this huge feeling of just being secure in your heart, being secure with who you are right now, being secure of where you're at in your process right now. And there's a need to celebrate that because for some Pisces, maybe that's not where you've been. Maybe your emotional cup hasn't been full. Maybe your heart hasn't been in a state of grace, in a state of um, emotional fulfillment. And that's okay. That was the process that you were working through. Again, this was an 18-month journey. And part of that could have been, um, you know, wading through those waters. And now you are here. Security. Centering. Beauty grace, celebration, and own that, own that space in your heart, own who you have become, own and celebrate who you are, and allow for that to come out. Again, celebration with the artwork could very well be celebrate by taking yourself out on a, on, on a solo date or on a date with another person and, you know, enriching yourself, enriching yourself with the beauty of the world. The hermit. Very interesting. Um, it could also be, obviously, solo. Being um, secure on your journey. Being secure that you have the light that you need to always find the right path. Um, secure in knowing that you stand grounded, you stand complete, you stand, you just, 
your whole heart is beaming. I'm just continue. I'm like smiling. I'm continue to get this beautiful heart centered energy. And it's just all in. I just really feel with the hermit here and the three of cups, it's just all in the knowing. It's all in the knowing of where you're at Pisces. And that is, that's beautiful, beautiful awareness to take forward because we have the world in the physical realm. You create, you, you finalized your path. You're at the end. This is everything that you've worked for. It's the end of the major arcana. It's the end of the hero's journey. It's this understanding. It's illumination. Pisces, it's the end of the zodiac. It's a higher perspective. It's deep knowing that is going to allow you to literally, and I am getting goosebumps, thrive. Thrive in this new version, in this new story that you are about to embark upon. Or quite frankly, with temperance, that you have already started to embark upon. Um, it is, it's, it's a time. It's a time of thriving. It's a time of just great energy. There it is. There is your new start, Pisces. The Fool card, your new journey is underway. You have taken that leap. You have really have this beautiful sense of knowing. Here we have the end in the beginning. All of it is here for you, Pisces. And um, at this moon, you just keep doing you. You just keep going forward. You know what you need to do. Do not doubt it. You have been down that doubt path. You're, you've graduated from that. That's over there. Allow you to be and allow you to shine exactly as you need to. Because this new journey you're about to go on, I can't wait. I can't wait to see this journey unfold for you. All right. Bye, Pisces. Have a great one.